we just got more locked in. We weren't really locked in down there on the road, got behind there a little, but we came here and we all established that we weren't going to get down early, so we're going to throw the first punch, and it worked out for us. Everybody came together, gave a great effort, and ended up blowing up again. Any more questions to do that, all good. It seems as if every time we play a uh, they are at some favorable position in the standings. Last time we played IUPUI, I believe they were in fourth place. Um, after coming out such a, a tremendous gauntlet of games, if you will, against Wright State, Oakland, Northern Kentucky, you know, and now IUPUI in its homestand, uh, being down players, I'm very, very pleased with the focus um, and the preparation that our staff and our players put in to this particular game because it was important for us to display a higher level of discipline, you know, uh, a better uh, tempo in terms of offensive execution. And I am so pleased with how guys were able to step up and be tougher, you know, uh, for longer stretches in the game. Uh, it's because at the end of the day, when you look at this league, every night you have a game that's winnable. And it's so important that you stay connected with your teammates in the execution of those wins, which puts you in position to claim victory. And so for a 14-point victory, uh, I don't look at the, the, the disparity in points there. What I look at is 18 assists on 25 made shots. You, you just can't balk at those things. I thought the ball moved. I thought players moved. I thought defensively we did a, a really good job of just being as solid as we could. Even though we didn't win the battle on the glass, a lot of those second chance points didn't really do us in because they only generated 11 points to our 10. So I'm, I'm happy right now you know, that our program was able to not only show uh, some uh, perseverance and some toughness tonight, but my hope is that we can continue that mindset moving forward. Uh, Coach, heard you uh, heard you describing your defense today as five guys talking. How did um, how did communication help with the defensive effort tonight? Great question. I think communication is sits at the cornerstone of, of of defense. Okay, there's four absolutes on defense, and one might wonder, well, does Coach lower his standards? Now. I'll be the first to admit in my two seasons here, uh, no, this is my 22 now in the program, that our defense has been absolutely abysmal. Um, but do I lower my standard in terms of what my goals are each game, you know, in terms of field goal percentage defense and stuff like that? Now, we held our opponent tonight to 41%. Okay, I'm, I'm pleased about that. Um, again, we held them to 25% shooting from three in the first half. I'm pleased about that, even though they shot 40% for the game, most of whom which was desperation. But when you're a good defensive team, you're in a stance, you're in a proper position, you have proper vision, and more importantly to your question, you have great talk. And so five guys operating as one is what we mean when we say five guys talking. And that was key tonight. I just thought that we shrunk the court. We made it difficult um, in some of our switching patterns. And now we got teams throwing, overthrowing passes out of bounds. I just thought it was just key. We didn't press the whole game and forced 18 turnovers just by being in the proper spots and communicating with each other to get there. Coach, you really seem uh, – a couple weeks ago at IEPY, I looked up and with three minutes to go, uh, you know, we were up 35-24 here. You know, two weeks ago, we were down 36-24 to there. So that's completely reversing the script, you know, once again. You know, what was the difference between that game two weeks ago and tonight? Well, I think it's focus, and it's no knock against the players that didn't play tonight, uh, but I also think it's preparation. I thought Coach Jermaine Jackson, who had tonight's scout, did a phenomenal job, you know, along with our other assistants of preparing the team, of uh, understanding all of the nuances of IUPUI's execution offensively and what they would try to throw at us defensively. And then you got to give credit to the players because it's not so much what we know as coaches, it's what we can get them to know as players. And I thought we did that tonight. Uh, I was really pleased with... Um, uh, how we were just on that 15-foot rope, if you will, when a guy rotates over and a guy drops on defense and a guy zones up in ball screens. I just thought that was evident more often than not. Um, I don't know if that's a byproduct of having a, sh a, a shrunken bench, you know, where guys are playing 
longer stretches together, which can promote some uh, on-court chemistry. Uh, but the results, absolutely, you can't knock them. I mean, 11 steals, and, and, and we wasn't even trying to press. You know, I was really, really uh, just pleased with the focus. That was the difference between this IUPUI game and game one. Coach, yeah, it looked like the players out there were, you know, really looking at the whole court. There were a lot of times, there were a, lot, a couple of plays today cutting, running to the basket, finding that open, uh, open that person again to the basket. I mean, a good example tonight was Cole Long, career high seven assists, and you got to like that from your six, seven forward. Without question. I mean, and here's a, here's a group of guys when you take a deeper dive into who was out there. Deshondre Black, senior. Roshan Prince, senior. Cam Chapman, fourth year junior. Um, Cole Long played for us last year, has started other games, you know, um, doing the things that he has to do. Josh McFoley, junior, all-conference caliber player. All of these guys understood tonight that our offense is going to be a part of our defense. Keep your chin on the rim, head up, have good vision, engage two players, then move the basketball. And that was a part of the game that was so evident um, when I look at the assist numbers, Cole in particular and then Chapman combining for, you know, 11 assists and five turnovers, uh, that's pretty impressive. Coach, when you go into a game like this, kind of a shortened bench there, um, are you a little bit concerned with getting into foul trouble? And then obviously your team ended with only 10 total fouls, so your team played some great defense tonight and, you know, they played by the rules. <laughs> Certainly, you know, defending without fouling is, is just a byproduct of discipline. Um, this, this collection of players, you know, uh, showed a lot of discipline. But again, I'll go back to the previous point I just made. I think the experience, you know, helped. You know, and so when you look at that, you know, one of the contradictions in that statement would be this. Who let us in fouls? Roshan Prince, the fifth year senior. You know, and maybe that's because we didn't use enough, you know, um, you know Ben Gay on his knees to get a mobile. But... Um, Outside of that, I was just really, really pleased with our ability to jump to the basketball, communicate, see actions early. And a lot of times, those low foul numbers is a byproduct of us being locked in to the game plan. Any more questions, Coach?